Hello YouTube and welcome to this video. In today's video I am going to show you how to make a 1.14 Minecraft server which without plugins is just a pure vanilla server so let's get right into it. First you hop on over to the minecraft.net website and then go under downloads here in trials and download and then you just scroll down until you find the download Java edition server, click on that, and then you download the server file for Java. So, yeah, that's fine. Um, and then you copy and paste this, or just copy it for now, and we can make a new folder out here for the server. So, MC 1.14. And we can just open that to start off the text file that we're going to use in here. So, text, and you can call it whatever because that doesn't matter now. Copy in that text. So, now is a good time to decide how much RAM you want. So, this is the, mi uh, the max RAM, sorry, uh, whereas this X is the max amount of RAM it can use, and this is the start RAM. So I'm actually going to change this to uh, 512 or 512 just because it's a bit less and not as much strain on your system when this the server is not in operation. And then we need to change this or we can just copy it actually because we are going to use that on the jar file. And then you can save as BAT. And then down here, you choose all files. And then after this, you write um, dot, no, sorry, uh, run dot BAT. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. Because this is a bad file or a batch file, which will start the, the CMD or the command prompt so the server actually works. So now you can just delete the humble thingy thing up here that you created before. Now you can drag the server into this and then you can go ahead and rename that because we need to rename it to this because that was what the run files are started up and it will start creating a lot of files So you need to make sure that this is a Java Java version. So I'm just going to find my Java install somewhere in here. Maybe it's under, yeah, oh here, no, that's not what the one. Um, but yeah, we'll get back when I find my Java install. So I think I found out what the problem was. My computer had basically just uninstalled Java on itself, so I'm just re in the process of reinstalling it now. Um, but I assume that when Minecraft was working, I sh didn't like. I obviously needed it, but I think it was thought it was installed because Minecraft worked. So I don't know, but. If yours doesn't work or it doesn't show up with a little Java icon up here, like now, um, just reinstall Java and it should work. Just let if this finish. Yup. And now you can run it. And yeah, it looks as it should. So 
this is what it should do. Now I can open it with, for example, Notepad++ or just open it with a any other editing software. So change this from false to true. Hit save. Close this window. And I don't want to update it. No. And run it again. And while that is loading, yeah, yep, product not work. Yep, there we go. Doesn't matter. You can just click both boxes if you want to. Um, while we're waiting for this to load, we can open this, which is the server.properties file. This is where you can, for example, if I can find it, you can add a, a seed, yeah, a level seed down here, around 41, I think it should be. Uh, you can also change it if you want to use a cracked version of Minecraft, you can change this to false, which is online mode. Uh, you can change the port up here, don't mess with the server IP because I don't know, you shouldn't. Um, turn off PFP, uh, PvP. Change your uh, MOTD or message of the day, which is just a little message under the um, in the search menu for the servers. You can add or change this. Uh, change the build height for example, I don't know why you want to do that, but you could. Um, allow flight, change the world name. This is a pretty good one. So as you can see this file up here, uh, or this folder is called world. If I add another map and I want to change this, you don't have to change the world. You can just go into the properties file and change this to the, the name and it needs to be exactly the same otherwise it wouldn't work. You can also change the amount of players, so normally it's just gone to 20, if we want to do 25 we can do that. Um, and the level type and stuff like that, hardcore mode. All of this you can change it here. And spawn protection for example. The amount of blocks from spawn that you can't destroy. So I think it's a radius of 16, I'm not sure. but around that probably. So you just close this and as you can see the server has started. It took it uh, 73 seconds. So I'm just gonna boot up Minecraft here and I'm on 1.14. The village and pillage update. And for this video I am just going to use my um, my IPS local host, you can change it, go watch my uh, port forwarding video up in the cards up here, um, how to change your domain to a, uh, or sorry, a IP to a domain, also up there, direct connect, yeah, we can use that, the local host encrypting, very nice, so there we go, normal procedure, Oh, we found some stacked turtles down here. Okay, you're laying a bit close right there. Uh, I found a wrecked ship. We can go over and take a look at that. But first, we need to OP myself. I'm sorry about the black screen, but it's just Minecraft in a nutshell. Having fun. Um, so, OP Lava oh, Lava Rush HD do that, back to the game, oh, I need to get myself into game mode, game mode, creative like that, only took too long, um, that should be, oh, um, yeah, that's another thing, um, even like as you can see here, um, I moved too quickly, and and the server couldn't keep up. That's another thing. I don't know why it happens. It also happens in single player, um, where you just like get pulled back. I don't know why, but it's weird. Do you have anything under, or is that it? 
I will be releasing uh, or making the new video for 1.14 Spigot Edition and Bungie Cord and all those fine goodies when they arrive. They are not here yet, but we are waiting. I will also do a tutorial for Optifine, but we'll have to see and wait because that takes a bit of time for the developers to get them. So I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. I will see you in the next one.